Hi, this is Jack Lifton, and today I'm talking with Stephen Berea, the president of Appia Rare Earth and Uranium. Uh, good morning, Stephen. Jack, how are you doing? Good. Uh, I've got a direct question for you. Okay. What's happening with Appia lately, and why should we care? Appia has never been busier. Uh, we're, we've got two programs undergoing right now, underway. Uh, so we have uh, our, our drill program, 4,500 meter drill program, diamond drill program in northern Saskatchewan on our flagship Alsis Lake project. It's about two thirds of the way completed, be done by the end of August. And uh, so far, it's been a great program, a great season. I was actually up on property just a few weeks ago for the first time, saw this camp in, in person. It's extraordinary. Met the team. They're young a hungry uh, group of geologists and support staff. They're extraordinary. We're very fortunate to have such a great team. And the reality is, is that the program's just going great. So we've got that ongoing. Uh, and then, of course, we've got our new project down in Brazil. Um, RC Rig showed up about two weeks ago, give or take, 10 days ago. And we have an ongoing program now of uh, planned 300 holes RC, that's reverse circulation for those who are uh, wondering. Uh, it's uh, it's on our ionic clay asset in Brazil, in Goiás State. And uh, the beauty about ionic clays is that it goes from surface down to hard rock. Uh, so you're looking at sort of the top 12 to 25 meters. So the holes can happen very quickly. They can be drilled very uh, succinctly. And, uh, and we're excited to be able to complete that program probably sometime near the end of September. Uh, assays in on an ongoing basis, and our goal is to move towards potentially even a maiden resource on target four by the end of this year. So we're active. That's why people should be excited. There's two fully funded drill programs underway as we speak, run by two separate teams, very focused, very specialized teams, one looking at high, hard rock monazite in northern Saskatchewan, and one looking at uh, ionic clay structures in Goya State in Brazil. If I had to fantasize about the ideal rare earth company, it would be Appia, because you've got monazite, the most desirable rare earth, uh, light rare earth ore on the planet, and you have an ionic clay, a genuine one, I believe, in Brazil. Uh, therefore, you are the only company I'm aware of outside of China that has the total spectrum of rare earths needed to make the rare earth permanent magnet motors required by the automotive industry, the ones that can handle uh, high temperature cycling in, indefinitely. Uh, the interesting part to me is that uh, could you, th there's a great deal of interest now in heavy rare earths. And uh, it's my understanding that in Australia, this is now a hot topic, even though Australia has what we call ancient clays. These are dried out clays. You're working with the actual wet clays, which are young, aren't you? They're only a couple of hundred thousand centuries old. That's uh, right. And there, near you, there's a rather exceptional one, isn't there, in, in the same area of the world? There is. There is, Jack. And uh, it's called Cerro Verde. Uh, Cerro mm -hmm. Verde is a private company, um, but they've got an extraordinary asset uh, about 400 kilometers northwest of us. Uh, and they're actually commissioning their plant and will be producing as of January 2024. So just around the corner, uh, they've raised some 300 plus million dollars to put this production in, in place. And in fact, our, our consulting geologist, a gentleman by the name of Don Haynes, was the consulting geologist on the Cerro Verde clay. And he produced the 43-101 resource on that asset. Now, Don has been to site been to the PCH project with me and is very convinced and very confident that we're looking at a, a similar structure, a similar environment. And if we are to take our initial drill results from first from the vendor, as well as the due diligence drilling that we completed, um, we are in a very fortuitous position. It appears that our, our heavy rare earth numbers are actually even better than Cerro Verde. 
uh, where my understanding is that the Sarah Verde makeup may, is about 7% I think, turkey. I think the most interesting thing to me, uh, Steve, okay. is, is that Don Haynes is the leading authority on the geology of ionic plays in the Americas. And Absolutely. if he says that this is what's going to happen, I think I'm going to believe it. So, so the best of luck to you, and we're going to be following this very carefully because, quite frankly, without those ionic clays and their very high heavy wear earth content, uh, the American industry is screwed. So, best best of luck to you to unscrew us, and oh, and we're <laughs> going to keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jack. Have a great day.